we're going to do is get the values from props we need the month and the year and we will remove the hard-coded month with the year perfect so this looks good next what we want to do is figure out the render week and how we will handle the on click so let's create let's get advanced we'll pass it down to the button which we rendered inside the day component we want is on click we want to have on click dot bind this dot d so this bind will create a new function for each and then it will pass back the appropriate date so save this and then in here now to see how on click works we can even go ahead and pass in a selected prop which will tell the component whether that particular day is selected or not. So we will need the date and this date will come from full day dot get date. So if the date which we get here is equal to the one which we are getting through the date picker right here which in turn we are getting to the app.js if this is true then i want to add a add another class name to it if it's selected class name should be the original one as well as the modifier next we want to add styles for the modifier so let's go here and then I will copy paste some styles which is the background to this purplish color sets a border and sets the color I save this and I go to Chrome okay it says on day click is not defined so it's saying this is not defined let's see what we pass in on day click line 16 oh right because here it's just on click let's save this go here okay nice oh that's not nice so it is selecting the right date which is 18 that's the day today but when I click on something it says cannot read property state of undefined and I think this is coming from app.js so here we create a handle click but we did not bind it correctly so this should fix it just to be sure refresh perfect so let's look at the original implementation so we don't have the hover state set but when you click on something it selects that appropriate one same thing here okay so that's looking great next what we want to do is handle the hover state and we will see how to do that in the next episode